Well, if you are looking to become more of a sustainable company, you can do that with Walking Mountain Science Center's Actively Green program. Joining me now from Walking Mountain Science Center is Kira and then Madeline from the Vale Valley Anglers located in Edwards. You ladies have a special role in uh, being actively green, not only in the company uh, with Vale Valley Anglers, but also with Walking Mountain Science Center. How do we become green? So this program um, is for all businesses in Eagle County, so any type of business can participate. And the first step is to take a training. Um, and we've got one coming up at the end of August, so I just wanted to let people know kind of what the program is about and how to get involved. Mm -hmm. um, but I thought Madeline might be able to share some of that, but the training is kind of just the first step to getting those ideas and learning exactly what you need. And so Madeline, you um, with Vale Valley Anglers have become an actively green company. How yep. did that training process go over with you? Yeah, so it was, I mean, it's so easy. Um, it's seamless. Um, and so what Actively Green does is it gives you the infrastructure and the base layer and the support through people that know more about sustainable changes than maybe we do. Um, and they give us the opportunity to take quantitative changes in our business. So instead of being like, oh, we're really good at recycling, we're making a difference, we're actually able to um, track a whole bunch of different things through a really easy, easy like uh, management system. Mm -hmm. And so the training just kind of got us started with that. And then we had the support of Kira and her coworkers to really um, push us along and get us to the point where we're really um, seeing differences and making differences and seeing why they're happening and empowering our employees and all that kind of stuff. So, And so we just showed a couple of photos of, <laughs> of the training process. What kind of differences have you felt like uh, becoming green has made in the Vale Valley Anglers? Yeah, so um, actively green, like I said, was really helped us um, kind of hone in on what we what our focus and our goals were and that um, like I said empowered our employees to um, get creative mm -hmm. with a focus so it wasn't just like how can we recycle better um, how can we turn off the lights more frequently but really getting creative with our programs and our guided trips um, how we engage with our customers how we engage with the community and educating people um, in a way that fits in with what we do with fly fishing and with the watershed and all that kind of stuff mm -hmm. Um, but it gave us a focus and gave us a goal um, and active we couldn't do without actively green there's yeah. no way and they make it so easy and so simple and I swear Kira works seven days a week because she always answers my emails <laughs> she always answers my questions and when she can't she goes to her higher ups and then they all work together um, and I feel like we're the only company they work with because they give us so much attention right but with every company you get that same amount of attention um, and you're able to see like I said you're making a difference in the community and they um, are so encouraging and it's really fun and so easy and it's it may seem like scary kind of going into it, but the training, as soon as you start going to that training, you're like, oh, we can do this. Mm -hmm. And then you start to get come up with ideas to make your business more sustainable. Um, and it creates a community of actively green businesses, which is really fun too. We all kind of talk to each other and there's a bunch in the Riverwalk Center where we're located. So it's really fun. It's Excellent. Really cool. And Kira, mm -hmm. um, when is the event happening and how can we get signed up so that we can make our companies actively green as well? Yeah, of course. So the training is composed of two afternoon sessions, so August 23rd and 30th. Um, and we cover slightly different things in each, so it's best to go to both of them. Um, but it's from 1 to 4.30 each day, and you can sign up on our website. So it's walkingmountains.org slash AG. And they can get a little more information there and yes. everything like that. Yeah, definitely. Excellent. Well, we're so excited. We love to see companies becoming more green, and we're definitely on our way to becoming a sustainable destination. So yes. um, it's definitely exciting to kind of see this starting to grow in our community. So thank you, ladies, for taking yeah, the time out of your day of to come on the show. I know you're both really busy, Kira. It sounds like you're extremely <laughs> busy, uh, especially with these events coming up. I know Walking Mountain stays busy, not just in the summer, but in the winter mm -hmm. too. So we're looking forward to having you both back on again. Again, it's walkingmountains.org to get a little more information and to get registered for the Actively Green program as well, so you can become a sustainable business. But coming up next, we're going to have another look at your weather forecast. And then after that, Craniology will be joining us in the studio.